Hello friends! I've seen lots of birds flying around outside, so I thought we could make a bird called a flapping bird. This one is actually created by a man named Joel, and we can make one together. You can make it flap holding it up like this with your string, or you could make it flap by holding it under the wings. Okay, let's make one together. For our flapping bird, you will, by Joel, you will print out the bird shape from the internet, from our Google Classroom. And you need some crayons or colored pencils. I chose yellow, blue, and red colored pencils this time. You'll need some scissors, some thread or string, and some tape. The first thing you're going to want to do is color your bird. And I'm going to show you that I colored my bird all yellow. You can choose what color you would like to color your bird, making sure that I stay in the black lines and colored it very brightly so it can be seen from far away. And then you're going to color your wings. I chose to color my wings red on the outside, blue in the middle, or white. I left some of them white, and yellow in the circles. You might decide to use different colors. You might decide that you want the whole thing one color. It's totally up to you. After you're done coloring the wings and the bird, you're going to cut out the bird and the wings. Remember when you're using scissors, you put your thumb in the top hole and your two fingers or three fingers in the bottom and you hold the scissors in this angle. We'll start on the edge of the paper and we'll cut towards his beak. I'm turning the paper around the bird's head, staying as close to the line as you can. And then we'll do the whole bird's back. Long cuts. We'll go down for his tail, and I'm going to cut to the end of the paper so I have less paper to work with. Put my scraps over here. Now I'm going to start from this side. Again, my thumb in the hole and my two fingers in the bottom. Long strides, open, shut, open, shut. And then curve down by the bird's belly. And up to the beak. Careful, don't cut the beak off. It's a triangle. Doop, like that. Okay, and then you will cut out the wings as well. Start on the edge. down and around and up all the way to the end. I'm going to cut off the extra scraps so that I have an easy piece to work with. The wings go up and down so the bird and fly nice and fast. And now I have my wings. The handout shows you also gives directions on how you do this as well if you would like to look that over. So I have a bird and I have my wings. Now you will color the other side of your bird 
so that both sides of the bird are colored in. I chose to make my other side of my bird yellow also. And I gave it an eye. So both sides of the bird are colored in. Now we will take some string. Depending upon how long you would like the string, you can cut it to the length you would like. And then you will tie it to the wing right in the middle on the dotted lines, just like they show you in the picture. And then we need to attach the wings to the bird. So you'll use some tape and put it inside the wings. And you will attach that to the middle of your bird's back because that's where the wings go. And just pinch it there so it'll stay tight. Pinch them up and down to show the bird is ready to fly. And then you can use your string and put the bird up and down to make the bird fly. Or swing them back and forth or hold them in your arms, your fingers like that. And he has flappy wings. Have fun playing with your bird today. See you soon.